You know, a lot of people don't think that uh, sweet potatoes will do very well in Utah, but we've grown them before and they do great. Uh, one of the most important things to do is to heat up your soil as early as possible. So two weeks before I'm going to plant my sweet potatoes, and I'm generally shooting for around Memorial Day to plant my sweet potatoes. We need we need that soil to really warm up. So they're very frost sensitive, so we're going to protect them as well too. But we want that soil to warm up. I took my knife and just cut a you know cut a little X in my weed barrier and we can pull that weed barrier back and we got a perfect spot for planting our uh, sweet potato. Once we get it planted we can let the flaps come back to the plant and still generate some more heat but generating some heat in the soil is essential for being successful with sweet potatoes. Now with these sweet potatoes uh, we actually started these ourselves with a with a hydroponic cloning system and uh, what I did is I took some cuttings off of uh, a sweet potato and uh, we did that on, on a Saturday night and uh, put them into these little styrofoam discs that uh, that will hold the cuttings and then we put it into a hydroponic bath so that the, the, the root area where we want those roots to develop is down in this water uh, the entire time. It has an air stone in there, it has a pump that circulates the water and so those cuttings just sit right down into the water uh, until, it, until the plant roots and within just a couple days we've got uh, a bunch of roots that came onto the the cuttings and then within about a week there were even more roots and so it took about two weeks to get them to to fully root out and uh, once they fully rooted out we we took those out of the hydroponic bath and uh, put them into uh, peat pots and uh, put in a nice soil mix to help those continue to produce more roots watered it with the kangaroo roots and uh, they have transplanted perfectly so we put them into into these little peat pots with that seed starting mix and I've had these outside for about five to seven days to get used to being outside before we we transplant them into their new location so they've just about rooted into this peat pot completely now and it's time to to get them transplanted to their to their new location so what I'm going to do is dig a small hole here pull some of the dirt out and then we're going to mend the soil just a little bit with some coconut core which will help the soil retain some moisture so we got to make a big enough hole for our plant to fit in there and then I like that coconut core that expanded coconut core is a great soil amendment helps the soil retain moisture like crazy doesn't break down like peat moss it uh, sticks around a lot longer but it's wonderful for holding extra moisture I'm just going to work that into the existing soil now with these peat pots, we don't even have to take them out of the peat pot. Usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll just tear the top edge of the peat pot off, just like that, because we don't want to damage that, that root system, but we want to take that, that top edge off. So I'm just going to tear that top. There we go that top edge. Now these have only been in these pots for about a week so we want to keep them in the pot so that uh, it doesn't damage the root system, doesn't disturb the root system and they'll transplant a lot better so we can keep it right in that same pot that it's been in for uh, most of its life. And we're going to use that soil that we pulled out of the hole with the composted coconut core. Put a little bit more coconut core in around it help it retain that moisture and that's that's it for the sweet potato they'll go like crazy and if we can protect them a little bit in the fall so they have a little bit longer growing season then uh, they'll produce potatoes like crazy underneath the weed barrier they'll vine out and spread all over the place just like a ornamental sweet potato would and uh, it's gonna take off like 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 mad a little organic fertilizer. This is our all-purpose fertilizer from Natural Guard. It's a blend of a lot of different natural ingredients that have some great nutritional value for your plants. It's got beneficial microbes, mycorrhiza, archaea in there. We can just like sprinkle that on the ground around the plant and it's going to feed it for oh the first first four weeks or so and then I like to do it again. We're going to put about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more in around that plant, kind of work it into the soil and then to really get it reestablished I'm going to water it again with the kangaroots so the kangaroots really helps 
with transplant shocks you won't have nearly as as many plants that that struggle after transplanting because it damages and disturbs those roots but uh, we'll water with the kangaroots for the next two or three waterings after transplanting to get it to reestablish and and get the root system growing again like crazy so the kangaroots is essential and then the complete disease control is a beneficial bacteria it's a good bacteria instead of a bad bacteria and it kills all the diseases in the soil around the plant fights those diseases off so the plants won't be uh, disturbed or, or bothered by those diseases or, or attacked by those diseases and it will prevent uh, powdery mildew and a lot of other diseases that might affect our sweet potato plant so I've mixed that up in a watering can and you want to water that plant so it saturates the soil down all the way through the seed starting mix that we used is very very porous and so we want to make sure and hydrate that all the way through once that plant gets gets really hydrated then we'll put some protection on the top a little aquadome to help the plant protect it from the wind from the sun from the cold if it happens to get colder and I'll leave that on until the plant really starts to, to run which will only take a couple weeks and then we'll take that off and let let uh, let it just be out in its own environment after that so a lot of fun doing the sweet potatoes very easy to do but it's amazing how quickly you can root those when you use one of those hydroponic rooting systems makes for really fast cuttings the plants uh, established a lot faster and we can get those outside this is probably uh, three and a half weeks and it's ready to be planted outside and that's just from a little small cutting that had no roots on it to begin with so a lot of fun doing sweet potatoes can't wait to harvest some sweet potatoes this fall Thank you.